Everyone says they don't understand 2001, but I think 2001 is a lot more straightforward than it seems to be. Content warning, sexual symbolism. Even further content warning for the fact that it's an old film and it has a very binary view of what that is, as well as being pretty cisgendered. And Freudian. Very Freudian. That doesn't mean it's not interesting. Friend, I'm going to say I think the monolith is a female symbol because it is a doorway and sexual symbolism doorways are usually representative of birth, etc, etc. So we can get right into it by saying, here's a bunch of meathead dudes being completely confused by a feminine symbol. Here's one masculine symbol turning into another masculine symbol. Here's a doorway in a spaceship that has pretty much the same dimensions as the monolith. Here's such romantic music as a masculine symbol trying to merge or dock with or whatever with a female symbol. The other primary feminine symbol is things that are round, such as eggs or the moon. And the moon is also a very feminine symbol for other reasons. Here's the moon. Here is an egg-shaped thing. Giant red rooms are usually wombs. Here's a bunch of meathead guys gathered around a feminine symbol that they don't understand. Here's a masculine spaceship that's exactly like a sperm cell. And it's headed towards a big round thing, i.e. an egg. Dave defeats Hal, which looks like a doorway with a round thing inside it. He enters the monolith and makes this face, and this face, and this face, and that face. And then he feels totally shell-shocked. Maybe because he ended up with one of these. 2001.